want to show you what is possible using the new Shapeshift Query Engine. Specifically, I want to focus on reimagining the ease of use of ingesting data into Druid. I will show you how Druid ingestion can now be done using Druid SQL, allowing users to rely on their existing knowledge of SQL, and how it's no longer necessary to tune the ingestion at larger scale. So starting off, right here we have our Druid console that we know and love, and here I have a query loaded. This query is actually all that I need to start ingesting data into Druid. And if you're familiar with SQL, you should be able to get your variants around. I'm inserting some data into a data source. I'm reading from this um, extern definition that defines some external data as a logical table, and I'm selecting all the columns. I'm saying that we're just gonna have everything going to one time partition. Now I could preview the data, which I actually just did, and I can see what it will look like before I even ingest it, allowing me to iterate. In this case, let's just ingest it real quick. Right here, you see the multi-stage nature of this engine. Uh, you see the stages being planned out, just two stages for this very simple query. And very importantly, you see progress reports in these progress bars and counters. They allow you to have a good sense of how long is this query taking and how long will this ingestion take before it completes, which is a very nice feedback to have when you're loading up data. So let's just wait for this query to finish. And there it goes. I can see that I inserted this many rows and this data is now available for me to query. Now let's look at another demo. Uh, the first demo really focused on the simplest ingestion you can possibly have. In this demo, uh, I wanna show you how to do all of the cool stuff you can do in Druid, but using SQL. So here, I'm defining my external data in this little neat tile right here that allows me to collapse it. And I'm saying I wanna parse time. I wanna floor it to create a query granularity. I wanna define some dimensions, which I will then group by on. I wanna define a filter, and I wanna define some measures. All of these things are expressed using standard SQL. And now I can start this ingestion and I get all of the features that naturally would probably take me a lot of time reading the Druid documentation to understand how to do now. But I get it all rolled into one C SQL statement that pretty much fits on my screen. And again, this query finishes very quickly and this data is ready to query. Lastly, I wanna take us beyond what is currently possible in Druid into something that currently requires you to have another tool, some sort of an ETL tool uh, like Presto or Spark before Druid and to pre-process your data with that tool. In this case, I'm loading that same data defined by this, uh, this file on the internet. And I have a lookup table and I want to actually enrich this data by doing a join. So I'm going to do a join of, of this table to actually pull out the capital of every country and also the ISO codes because maybe I want to do a geo visualization. And I can see it's very easy to express that with SQL and this is now something that is possible in Druid. Running this query again, I can see the new plan being planned out and I can see that this plan is much more complicated than the one from the first query because there's a lot more interesting things happening here. Um, but still, I get a good sense of progress and now this query is complete and I'm ready to query this data as soon as my segments are loaded. Let's go and query this data just for fun. And there it is.